Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can install Curse Forge to your Minecraft game so you can install all sorts of resource packs, plugins, and even shaders. So first thing that what you guys are going to want to do is go to download.curseforge.com and whatever account that you're using, so Windows or Mac, I'm Windows, so that's what I'm going to do. You're going to click on Download for Windows. It's going to bring up a uh, thank you page once you install it, and then you can click and start installing Curse Forge to your game. It's going to ask for yes, blah, blah, blah. It's going to install it. Curse Forge has been successfully installed. Let's go. Now we can go ahead on over to Curse Forge. It's going to ask you guys to log into your account. Once you guys log into your account, you can download the Curse Forge beta. It's going to go to here and then you can install it. That'll install Curse Forge into your Minecraft account. Now, you do not have to launch Curse Forge every time to use these mods, plugins, or even shaders pack. You just need to install it just to have it. So you could honestly just close this after it's done installing. Now you're going to go to your website that you want to get your resource pack. I'm going to use the Pet Dragon one for an example. Click download mirror image. It's going to install it for you. And that's all you need. Leave it in the zip folder. Now you're going to go to your start menu and type in percent app data percent. It's going to bring up a folder for you. And then in this folder, you're going to want to click on dot Minecraft. And you will see resource packs. That's where that zip folder is going to go. So I'm going to click on here, drag it up, go to resource pack. And replace this destination yes and it's gonna drop it down in now you guys can start up minecraft go to your options resource pack and pet dragon should be on the left side left side that says available you just click the right side move that up to the top click done and then you guys have loaded up a known resource pack now to do it with mods that's a little different it will not add the folder for you. So you would have to create a folder that says the word mods. And sometimes it doesn't always work, but it works 99% of the time, but you just drop the file, the jar file that it gives you into this folder. And either if you're using Forge or Fabric, either way, that's whatever ones it's compatible with. That's how you do it with that. It's the same concept. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.